Hello future PMs. Welcome to yet another episode of the Product Toolbook series. Today I will be sharing how I go about solving something very fundamental and necessary for an aspiring product manager, a case study submission. Uh, these make up very initial rounds uh, many times before even a personal interview. And in my experience, the most common type of case study is that dealing with some kind of improvement to an existing product. In the upcoming couple of videos, I will be using the example of one of my all-time favorite product, uh, Grammarly. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. The first and foremost thing to do is to understand the case prompt. While sometimes it could be as straightforward as improving YouTube, other times it may have different subparts that needs to be addressed. So be very sure that you understand every word and what is meant by it. And if you are unsure about something, you can either seek help of the organizers or just men mention it as an assumption and uh, in your presentation and be uh, like go right there. So next we begin with our research. I tend to use the following methods to deep dive and gain an understanding of the space I'm dealing with. The first method is to analyze the product. This includes going through all different user journeys. Uh, for example, for Grammarly, it would be a maybe onboarding experience, writing the first document, etc. Here also, take care of nuances such as observing the product from the point of view of both a paid and a non-paid user. Official websites, online product videos, and user interviews are a great way to achieve this. This method also helps one understand who the target users of the product are. Next, we come to primary research. Basically, any type of research that you collect yourself. Here, interviews, surveys, and discussions with long-term as well as new users of the product are very helpful. Additionally, going through Google Play Store or App Store reviews uh, helps you to gain a unique insight into things. To complement the primary research, I go forward with the secondary research, which could include going through articles or newsletters about the company, the product, on a website such as Ken, TechCrunch, etc. Even opinion blogs on Medium by fellow product enthusiasts help a lot. Additionally, you can always go to the previous winning case studies on the PM School website. The last research technique uh, is to do a thorough com competitor analysis. Find out who the direct and indirect competitors of the product are and what is the unique uh, USP for them. How are they solving the user pain points? This will not only help you understand what the product in question is lacking, but also open your mind to other possibilities. Now, uh, with this, we are done with a major chunk of solving a case study. For me, it takes up to 60% of my time division. The research will help you jot down the different pros and cons of the product and also inspire your solution brainstorming process. You are now equipped with the knowledge to tackle the problem head on. The next step is to collate and synthesize the research and get on to the implementation. We will be covering this in the next video. Here is a snippet of what the final case study of Grammarly looks like. Thank you so much for watching the video. Do let us know what other topics you would like us to cover. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.